topping your news, the trigger man accused of killing a special agent with the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation is now charged with murder. The TBI confirms the charge of murder and perpetration of an attempted aggravated robbery was placed just hours ago against 23-year-old Brendan Taylor Burns. TBI Special Agent Dejeron Frazier was shot to death yesterday during an undercover drug investigation in Jackson. A controlled buy was arranged in a car in the middle of the afternoon. TBI Director Mark Gwynn said the gunman pulled out a firearm in an apparent robbery attempt and fired at least once, hitting the agent. Burns was taken down nearby and is being held in the Madison County Jail in West Tennessee without bond. Frazier had been with TBI only since February after working as an officer for several years with the Millington Police Department. Ex-Vanderbilt football player Brandon Vandenberg was back in court today, this time for a motions hearing. His attorney, Troy Bolin, requested to be removed as an attorney for the case. The other attorneys representing Vandenberg, as well as Vandenberg himself, supported that request, and the judge passed the motion. You'll recall in June, Vandenberg was found guilty of five counts of aggravated rape, two counts of aggravated sexual battery, and one count of unlawful photography. He faces up to 25 years in prison, and his sentencing has been set for September 30th. A quiet community in Florida is devastated after a woman participating in a volunteer citizens police academy was shot and killed by accident. The police chief in Punta Gorda, Florida says the 73 year old victim who was a well known librarian was taking part in a live role playing scenario as a student when she was mistakenly struck with a live round last night. It happened when officers were instructing the class using what was supposed to be simulated lethal force. We will have details on how our local citizens are protected at police and law enforcement academies later today on News Channel 5.